to go to Doha. So it was a long journey and we had to do two layovers one in London and one in Ireland but now finally at midnight we are in Qatar so it's only been five minutes since we last talked and the immigration was smooth as as it can be it literally took a minute just scanned our passport didn't even have to show the higher card which basically is the a visa for Qatar and now let's take an Uber and head home Good afternoon from Doha, Qatar We woke up super late today, it's almost 4 p.m. I guess jet lag <laughs> and uh, we finally got another game ticket and we're super excited. The game is at 10 p.m. and we have maybe two, two, three more hours to explore downtown. And after that, we're gonna go to the game. Cannot wait. This thing is making us super excited. But otherwise, weather is extremely hot. We are wearing half sleeves, shorts. Coming from a winter weather direct to summer weather, feels amazing. So we just entered a market and this place is filled with all football stuff and we cannot take our eyes from each store. Every place is full with jerseys, your caps, look at this. into our jersey for the game and uh, we both are actually wearing the same jersey and look at him I'm a huge Messi fan and I just want to wear the jerseys because we're going to the game I wanted to feel the vibe excitement we cannot wait for the game Just finished the game and it was amazing. One of a lifetime experience. Oh, our throats are paining by shouting this in the game. 6 1, Portugal 1. Amazing. Second day here in Qatar. We woke up super early today, well, compared to yesterday. And uh, first time of the day, we're gonna head to the mall of the Qatar. And taking a subway ride, it's empty. And yesterday, when we took the subway ride to the stadium, it was fully packed. This train is for you and me. made it to Mall of Qatar. It's quite empty right now, but I'm assuming it's getting super filled by this evening. 
because the mall is open until 3 a.m. Yes, 3 a.m. Opens at 10 a.m. until 3 a.m. So we've been walking around the mall for almost a couple of hours now and uh, we had a good lunch and now we are super full so just roaming around in the mall and after that we're gonna head to uh, Suku Wakif that will be the second stop of the day. to the pool we were thinking of taking a bus but uber is very convenient and not that expensive as well so now let's see the pool oh i can already hear the music walking around for almost two hours and this place is beautiful like it reminds me of Palm Jumeirah and the vibes are amazing and uh, missing Shabnam here Shabnam couldn't make it because she had work and uh, but soon I'll be back it's a short trip
that light show was probably one of the best light shows I've ever seen. Uh, I'm assuming they were giving tribute to these buildings because some drones were actually in the shape of these buildings. Amazing. So now there's another show which this whale is supposed to perform. Good morning everyone, yesterday's game was fantastic, I couldn't even record the video because the, the game was so nerve wracking but unbelievable, the experience was great and today is our last day here in uh, Doha, Qatar, uh, we just have to do some last minute shopping, we have already packed our bags, did our online check in, uh, we came back to the souk to try uh, a tea which we were craving for so we had that and uh, now we're just gonna explore maybe like 10-15 more minutes and head to to a mall to pick up some stuff And one good thing about this this whole area is it's open until late, until like 3 a.m. and opens at 10 a.m. So you have a full day of exploration. Most people come in the evening because it gets super hot. But we've been lucky every day the weather has been really nice. It feels gloomy. Uh, it hasn't rained like at all in the last five days, but it felt like it's gonna rain any moment. But this weather is amazing. And uh, Sahil is basically wandering around, he's trying to find something and I'm just chilling behind a restaurant and uh, we have a long flight tonight so we're gonna try to exert ourselves so we can sleep in the flight and avoid the jet lag If not Shabnam then Sahil <laughs> Both play Candy Crush So we just reached downtown and something which we never would have expected is happening, it's raining. <laughs> Honestly I never thought it might, it might rain here ever but yeah I can feel it's raining now. 
You never know, it might be artificial. <laughs> <laughs>